is Shannon and Sam from Santa Bell Sea School. We're really excited to be joining you through our virtual field station. This week is all about biodiversity, and a great way to appreciate the biodiversity in your backyard is to do a bio blitz. You just head out into nature and count every single species that you can see. If you're like us, nature is your happy place, and there's no reason that even though we have to stay close to home right now, we can't get outside. Just be sure to practice safe social distancing and make sure to wash your hands once you get back inside. Sam and I got together and decided to bio blitz around the lake at my apartment, and we are really excited to share our experience with you. On our bio blitz, we printed out a map of our area. We weren't quite prepared with color ink, but we made it work, so please excuse our poor map quality. We also brought along a notebook and a pen to record every animal that we saw, as well as our phone to take pictures, and we had any apps we might need on that. We used primarily iNaturalist and Picture List, which is a plant identifier to help us out. Um, we also brought binoculars to check out any animals that were super far away. These were mainly tons of birds that were in the lake. Other items that you may use are magnifying glasses, gloves, small shovels, butterfly nets, and really anything that you can find around your house that will make your bio blitz more fun and allow you to find even more animals. As Sam and I got going on our bio blitz, we were honestly a little overwhelmed at all there was to look at and everything there was to find. We realized that maybe it would have been better if we had done multiple trips around the lake. So for example, we could do one walk where we're only looking for plants and then another walk where we were only looking for animals and insects. That way, we only had to focus on one thing at a time. If you have multiple people in your group doing a bio blitz, keep in mind our group should be small right now. You could have one person only looking for plants and one person only looking for animals and one person recording, just to make it a little bit easier. As you can see, we really love royal poinsettias. They are absolutely gorgeous trees. Right now they're not blooming, but if they were, you'd see big bright red flowers all over the tree. Right now you can see a bunch of their seed pods hanging down. We love to use these at Santa Bell Sea School to make art. We've made all sorts of creatures, like alligators and hammerheads, and even green anoles. If you have some of these in your backyard, you should collect them, take them home, and try to create a creature with it. Send us a picture. We'd love to see what you come up with. My absolute favorite animal that I saw while walking around the pond was the common gallinule. And we even got to see a baby, which was just super adorable. I love, I am so, I can't even talk. I'm just so excited about it. If you're having trouble identifying something, you can always take a picture of it when you're out in the field and come back to it later at home when you have your computer and more resources with you to look it up. Another thing you can do is always pay attention to the behavior of creatures as well. Because sometimes, just based off of their colors or what they look like, it might be hard to look it up. We were walking around our lake, and I kept noticing all of these fish swimming around. And each of them seemed to be building its own ditch, or what I predicted was probably a nest, maybe, in the sand. It was like a big hole that each fish was circling or either just hanging out inside. These fish were honestly kind of funny looking. They had these big, bulgy eyes and a blue head and kind of chunky little guys just hanging out in each of their holes. When we went home, I was able to look it up based on its behavior and turns out it is a blue tilapia and they do make nests. The males or the boys will build a nest. Also, they're not native, we found out too. They are native to North Africa and the Middle East. However, they are often found in lakes or small ponds around apartment complexes or other developments in Florida. Shannon and I had a great time bio blitzing today and really enjoyed getting outside. We actually found 43 species just around her pond, which was super exciting. We would love to hear from you and see your findings, so please email us at info at Happy blitzing and be sure to join us next week.